What's going on? Machenga here. Let's go ahead and unbox this MSI Prestige 14 so we can talk about it. I know most people won't care, but this is a pretty neat box and it tells you right on the side that this laptop is geared towards getting work done. I'm always happy to check out devices designed to promote a higher level of productivity. So this is the carbon gray model, but you can also get it in pure white and rose pink. I'm kind of sad Intel didn't send me the pure white version, but I still appreciate them for sponsoring this video. This is the 14 inch model running on the new Intel Evo platform. This one is built for portability and you'll notice how thin and light it feels when you first take it out of the box. If you need a bit more graphics power, check out the Prestige 15 that has a dedicated GPU. I'll link the available models below in the video description. Okay, let's take a look at the ports. On the right, we get a USB type A port, the micro SD card slot, and the headphone microphone combo jack. On the left, there's two Thunderbolt 4 ports that support charging, data, and video out. It would have been ideal for me to get a full size SD card slot, but something is better than nothing. For those that want or need a faster internet connection, there is an ethernet dongle included in the box. MSI designed a nice aluminum chassis. It's modern and it doesn't stand out for all the wrong reasons. Now with the thinness of the frame, there is some flex on the lid so I wouldn't toss heavy objects on top of it inside your backpack. It does meet military standard for durability and reliability though so you can feel confident taking it almost anywhere. The screen can lay flat due to the 180 degree hinge and a super cool function on this laptop is flip and share. If you want to show something on your screen to someone opposite you, click F12 and it flips the screen in their direction. It's really cool. This has a 14 inch 1920 by 1080 IPS display running at 60 hertz with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The thin bezels really make this screen pop, plus it's color accurate covering nearly 100% sRGB. All my videos are posted in 4K, so I do primarily edit on a 4K display, but if you don't need that, you should be more than happy with the colors, vibrance, and sharpness of this panel. If I just had to complain, a 3x2 or even 16x10 display would have made this even better for content creators like myself. Also, 300 nits of brightness is a bit dim for use outside of the home office in direct sunlight, but this is a matte display so that's a plus, just something to keep in mind. The 720p webcam at the top here is Windows Hello compatible, so that makes it quick and easy to log into the laptop with facial recognition. The quality is not half bad and video conference calls won't be a problem. When you're not using it, just click this button to turn it off. You can also use Windows Hello with the fingerprint reader here on the trackpad. The keyboard is backlit and spacious for a comfortable typing experience. It doesn't have the most key travel and it's a little bit spongy, but it is responsive. It's not a loud keyboard and that's nice for typing in an office environment. It's a good full size keyboard and I have no problems typing on it for extended periods. When you open the lid to a five degree angle, it raises the keyboard into a propped up position. This is a great feature. The trackpad or touchpad is nice and wide, is quick to respond to touch and gestures are smooth. A small gripe I have with this trackpad is that it pushes down quite a bit when you click or press towards the bottom. I don't know if it'll be a problem in the future, but it is noticeable. That small issue hasn't affected accuracy in my testing though. On the bottom of the laptop, there's an interesting venting design and the stereo speakers. The speakers are downward firing, but the ability to lift the keyboard deck a bit helps the sound travel. Overall, the volume is good enough for watching movies and YouTube videos. If you want to enjoy music, the bass will be disappointing, but not any worse than most other ultra portable laptops. Okay, so how does the Prestige 14 perform? It performs well. I've tested several laptops running on the 11th gen Intel Evo platform and they all show similar performance across the board. We get the Intel Core i7 1185G7, Intel Iris Xe graphics, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 512 gig SSD for under $1,200. To put it plainly, if you're considering a few different laptops like the Dell XPS 13, Acer Swift 5, and the HP EliteBook 8045, this is going to beat both the Dell and the Acer, but it's a little bit slower than the HP since that is running an AMD Ryzen 7 processor. You're not going to struggle to get through everyday tasks like web browsing, Zoom calls, typing up emails, watching videos, and any office focused tasks. It's also going to perform well for those editing photos and videos. If you're using Lightroom or Photoshop, you don't have to worry about slowdown. Obviously, you're always going to benefit from more cores and beefier graphics if your focus is video editing or even programming, but the prestige 
Prestige 14 can still get the job done without much thermal throttling. Speaking of thermals, it's well managed here. The laptop never got so hot I couldn't use it on my lap or hold it in my hand. I did find that the fan came on quite often, but for me, it's not annoyingly loud. Your mileage may vary. I'm not an avid gamer and we're working with integrated graphics here, but you can get some gaming sessions in without feeling frustrated. One major benefit to Intel Evo certified machines is how efficient they are with battery runtime. Light users could easily get 16 hours of battery life out of this 52 watt hour battery, but I got 12 hours on a day to day with mixed use running on high performance mode. It also supports rapid charge using the included 65 watt power adapter. To sum it up, if you want a compact laptop with a color accurate screen, nice keyboard, and true all day battery life, the MSI Prestige 14 Evo should be on your short list. It's thin and light, making it great for portability, but it doesn't sacrifice on performance. Let me know in the comment section what laptop you would like me to review next. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you feel like it, jump down in the comment section and let me know you like it. If you haven't already and want to show your support, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you tap the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post new content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.